Welcome to Rapid History. Today we embark on a journey through the opulent palaces and bustling courts of the Ottoman Empire. Our focus will be the remarkable women who stood behind the peacock throne. These are the stories of the most powerful queens of the Ottoman Empire, women who navigated courtly intrigue and wielded immense influence. Our journey begins with Hurrem Sultan, who rose from humble beginnings to become one of the most influential figures in Ottoman history, shaping the empire's future in ways few could have imagined. Born Alexandra Lisovska, a Ruthenian girl from modern-day Ukraine, she was captured and sold into slavery, eventually finding herself in the Topkapi Palace, the heart of the Ottoman Empire. It was here that she caught the eye of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, a ruler known for his wisdom and grandeur. Suleiman, captivated by Hurrem's intelligence and beauty, broke with tradition, making her his legal wife and bestowing upon her the title of Haseki Sultan, a position of great honour and influence. This act alone sent shockwaves through the Ottoman court, challenging centuries of established norms. Hurrem was not content to be simply a beautiful face at the Sultan's side. Intelligent and ambitious, she quickly mastered Ottoman politics, becoming a trusted advisor to Suleiman, influencing his decisions and policies. She used her power to champion charitable causes, commissioning mosques, hospitals and soup kitchens throughout the empire, leaving a lasting legacy of benevolence. Her influence extended beyond the palace as she engaged in diplomatic correspondence with foreign rulers, fostering alliances and peace. Hurrem's rise to power was not without challenges. She faced opposition from Mahidevran Sultan, the mother of Suleiman's eldest son Mustafa, who saw Hurrem as a threat. The rivalry between these two women added another layer of intrigue to the Ottoman court, making it a hotbed of political manoeuvring. Despite these obstacles, Hurrem's influence over Suleiman never wavered, solidifying her place in history. She bore him six children, including Selim, who would eventually succeed his father as Sultan, continuing her legacy. Hurrem's legacy is a testament to the power of individual will and the enduring impact one person can have on history, forever altering the course of an empire. As we delve deeper into Ottoman history, we encounter another remarkable woman, Kozum Sultan, whose influence and power were unparalleled in her time. Born in Greece, she entered the Ottoman world as a slave girl, rising through the ranks of the harem to become the beloved wife of Sultan Ahmed I, a position that would change her life forever. Kozim's story takes a dramatic turn with Ahmed's untimely death, leaving her in a precarious position within the palace. With her son Murad IV, still a child, Kozim assumed the mantle of Valide Sultan, the Queen Mother, becoming the power behind the throne and the de facto ruler of the empire. This was a period of great upheaval for the Ottoman Empire, marked by internal strife and external threats. Rebellions flared in the provinces, and the Janissaries, the elite military corps, grew increasingly restless and rebellious. Yet Kozem, with her sharp intellect and unwavering resolve, proved to be a shrewd and capable ruler. She skillfully navigated the treacherous waters of Ottoman politics, consolidating her power and ensuring her son's position as sultan remained secure. Kosum's reign was marked by a series of regencies as she guided the empire through the reigns of her sons, Murad IV and Ibrahim I, and later her grandson, Mehmed IV. Her influence during this period was unparalleled, and she was often the true power behind the throne. She appointed and dismissed grand viziers, oversaw state affairs, and played a pivotal role in shaping Ottoman foreign policy, demonstrating her political acumen. Her political acumen earned her the respect of both her subjects and foreign dignitaries, who recognized her as a formidable force in the empire. However, Kozum's story was not without its shadows as the very system she manipulated was rife with intrigue and betrayal. The very system she manipulated was rife with intrigue and betrayal, making her position both powerful and perilous. As her grandson, Mehmed IV, came of age, tensions grew between them, leading to a power struggle that would have dire consequences. This power struggle culminated in a tragic end for Kosem, who was assassinated in a palace coup, a stark reminder of the dangers of power. Despite her tragic demise, Kozem Sultan's legacy as one of the most powerful and influential women in Ottoman history remains secure, remembered for her remarkable reign and indomitable spirit. 
Chapter 3. Nurbanu Sultan, the Venetian Powerhouse Our journey now leads us to the reign of Selim II, a sultan often overshadowed by his father, Suleiman the Magnificent, whose legacy loomed large over the empire. Yet behind Selim stood a woman of remarkable intelligence and ambition, Nurbanu Sultan, whose influence would shape the course of history. Born Cecilia Venier Baffo to a noble Venetian family, her early life was a world away from the grandeur and intrigue of the Topkapi Palace. Captured by Ottoman corsairs and brought to Constantinople, she was presented as a gift to the then Prince Selim, marking the beginning of her extraordinary journey. Nurbanu, with her keen intellect and charisma, captivated the young prince, quickly becoming an indispensable part of his life. She converted to Islam, taking the name Nurbanu, meaning Light of God, and quickly rose through the ranks of the harem, becoming Selim's favourite consort and the mother of his heir, Murad III, solidifying her position in the royal family. Upon Selim's ascension to the throne, Nurbanu found herself in a position of immense power and influence, a role she embraced with determination. As Haseki Sultan, she became a trusted advisor to her husband, guiding him through the complexities of governance. Nubanu's Venetian heritage played a significant role in shaping her political outlook, blending the best of both worlds. She maintained close ties with her homeland, acting as a conduit between the Ottoman Empire and the Venetian Republic, fostering a unique diplomatic relationship. This diplomatic channel proved invaluable, fostering trade and maintaining a balance of power in the Mediterranean, ensuring mutual prosperity. Her influence extended beyond the political sphere, touching various aspects of Ottoman life. Nubanu was a patron of the arts and sciences, contributing to the flourishing of Ottoman culture and leaving a lasting legacy. However, Nubanu's reign was not without its challenges, as the court was rife with intrigue and opposition. The Ottoman court was quick to challenge the influence of a woman, especially one of foreign birth, questioning her every move. Yet Nubanu navigated these treacherous waters with remarkable skill, securing her position and ensuring the continued prosperity of her adopted homeland, demonstrating her resilience and strategic acumen. Nubanu Sultan's story is a testament to the power of diplomacy and the enduring influence of cultural exchange, highlighting the impact one individual can have on the course of history. Chapter 4. Safiya Sultan the diplomat in the harem. The reign of Murad III saw the rise of another remarkable woman, Safiya Sultan. Born in Albania, she entered the Ottoman world as a slave girl, her destiny forever altered by fate. Her intelligence and beauty did not go unnoticed and she soon found herself in the service of the young prince Murad. Safiya's relationship with Murad blossomed into a deep and abiding love. She became his confidant, his trusted advisor, and the mother of his heir, Mehmed III. Upon Murad's ascension to the throne, Safiye, bestowed with the title of Haseki Sultan, found herself at the heart of the Ottoman Empire. Safiye was not content to be simply a royal consort. She possessed a keen intellect and a natural talent for diplomacy. The Ottoman Empire faced numerous challenges, both internal and external. The war with the Habsburg monarchy raged on, and within the empire, factions vied for power. It was in this tumultuous environment that Safiya truly shone. She skillfully navigated Ottoman politics, leveraging her influence to maintain stability and secure her son's position as heir. Her diplomatic skills proved invaluable as she facilitated communication between the Sultan and foreign ambassadors. Safiye's influence extended beyond the political sphere. She was a great patron of the arts and education funding the construction of mosques, libraries, and schools. Chapter 5. Mirima Sultan, the legacy of Hurram's daughter. Our journey concludes with Mirima Sultan, who inherited her mother's legacy of strength and influence. Born to Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and Hurram Sultan, Mirima grew up surrounded by the opulence and intrigue of the Topkapi Palace. From a young age, she received an education befitting a princess, mastering languages, calligraphy, and courtly etiquette. However, Mihrima was no ordinary princess. She inherited her mother's sharp intellect and political acumen. Unlike many princesses of her time, Mihrima was not relegated to the background. She actively participated in court affairs, her counsel sought after by her father, Sultan Suleiman. 
Mirima's marriage was a strategic alliance cementing her place in the power structure of the empire. She was wed to Rustam Pasha, a capable statesman who would eventually rise to the position of Grand Vizier. Together, Mirima and Rustam formed a formidable partnership. Mirima was a great patron of the arts and architecture. She commissioned the construction of two magnificent mosque complexes in Istanbul, designed by Mima Sinan. These mosques are a testament to Mihrima's vision and her enduring legacy. She used her position to advocate for the less fortunate, funding charitable works and ensuring the welfare of the empire's most vulnerable citizens. Thanks for watching. We've journeyed through the opulent courts of the Ottoman Empire, witnessing the rise of remarkable women who shaped the destiny of an empire. From Hurum Sultan's rise to Mirima Sultan's enduring legacy, these women have captivated our imaginations and left an indelible